Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ansipov and in one of my previous video I asked you to send me idea for new API plugin. Most of us asked me to create a plugin for taking and uploading photo into API database. This is functionality can be used for example for on profile screen for uploading user avatar. I create this plugin and now let's take a look how it works. First, let's create a new Ionic 4 application with name Upload for Tab. And by our tradition, let's import API plugin with name Take Photo and Upload into API database. And immediately let's test. Change routing to Upload Photo Screen and test. Application is ready, but we see alert message that. Uh, Database ID is not specified and it's clear because we have to store somewhere our photos. So let's go to database and create PhotoDB database. Then let's copy database ID and open photo setting service. Provide here database ID and also we see here that we have to provide master key. So go to database setting and copy master key. Paste it here. Please pay attention on description. So we use master key just for testing and it is recommended to use another header XAPRI session token key, key uh, in production. So if you would open database service and header tab, here we see where this setting is set. Now let's test again our application. No any alert messages now. Let's press take photo button and we see some predefined photo. Of course on real mobile phone uh, we would be activate camera and we'll be able to take a real photo. But in preview just for testing purposes uh, our service return some predefined image. And then we can press upload photo which will upload some data into our database. Let's do it. Ok and now let's go to our database and open files. Here we see that some files were uploaded. But again, uh, this is not a real behavior of our application, it's just for testing purposes. And to test on a real situation, let's build, in our case, Android build. My application is ready and I even installed it on my mobile phone. And now let's test it. First I will press take photo button. Allow and allow again. Then I can take my photo. And after that let's upload this photo into API database. That's great. And let's test that photo was really uploaded into database. Here we see just uploaded photo. We can download it and open. Yeah, this is our photo. Now let's take a look how this application was created. So application has only one screen with two button and if you would open code here we can see that there is three variables. When we take photo the path to this photo is stored into src variable. Image URL var variable is used for getting the data of our image and data is a binary of our photo. Now let's go to data tab and here we see three services. The first service is camera which make photo. Camera service accepts some parameters such as quality, destination type and so on. And for us mapping is more interesting because here we see that uh, our camera returns image URI and file src which is mapped on particular variables. Our next service is 
file reader service. So this service reads the binary of our photo and mapping keys image URI is mapped on file path. Now let's open mapping of response for our service. And here we see that binary data of our file is mapped on data variable. And last service is upload file. So here we mapped data of our image on data request and response mapping. Here we see that service return file name and file URL. So here file URL is mapped on SRC. Pay attention that after reading file we invoke upload service. Now let's go to design. And here everything is extremely simple. So after pressing on take photo button we invoke camera service and after pressing on upload photo we invoke file reader service which invoke file upload service on success response. So I think it will be easy for you to add the same functionality into your application if it will be needed. If you have ideas about what to record a new video or what new Apple plugin to create, please write me and I will do it. That is all. Thanks for watching.